Okay, we're heading out. We gotta take everything out of this truck and put it in that truck and then leave. I gotta pick up Hector and we're gonna meet Chris, my other buddy, who's got a boat and we're gonna fish off that boat as well. Okay, folks, we're, we're in the car on the way to Hector's place. Uh, gonna be doing some, some fan mail unboxings. We're gonna get right into it, Rob, Rob and Perrick. Perrick's in the backseat of his own car again. <laughs> oh wow, this is, I, oh, <laughs> I got a free scoop of ice cream at uh, Culver's. This is from an uh, angler named Andrew, I believe. Also gave me a car key, car key bracelet. I'm gonna use that. I don't know, well I hate Culver's actually, so. Perrick, I don't necessarily hate Culver's, but we go there all the time. Perrick is always wanting to go to Culver's. I remember Wisconsin, Culver's is the only stop we can take. So this is probably gonna go to Perrick's use, opposed to mine, but I still appreciate it. Uh, Andrew actually sent some questions, so I'm just gonna answer one. He sent me quite a few. Number two. Number two, that's yeah. a pretty good one. How did you meet Perrick, or how did you and Perrick meet? I think the first time I ever met Perrick was when a buddy of mine said that we were trying to start up a fishing club or whatever, and he knew one of other one other kid in our high school that liked bass fishing. There's like literally three guys in our entire high school that bass fish. Perrick shows up to this little pond by my house. He's got like a 7.6 St. Croix with a uh, Boo Garcia Ambassador, like a musky setup, and he was throwing a spinnerbait on straight braid, and I instantly thought this kid was a complete goon. Six years later, I still think he's a complete goon. And I'm probably not gonna go over all these letters, my apologies just because for like time's sake, but I'm gonna go over some of the interesting ones. That one is pretty cool. This letter's from Josh. From Mississippi. Thank you, Josh, for the letter. And the bottom it says, tell AP, he's crazy funny. Crazy oh. and funny. Perrick, you're Thank you. crazy and funny. Your job is Jack. I've been watching your videos for a couple of years and I love, thanks for the motivation and never stop fishing. Jack, thanks for the awesome letter. I will definitely check out your Instagram. This one's not like it's got a lure in it. That or it's like a maraca. Ooh, this is a nice looking lure. Jared. Thanks so much for sending me your favorite crankbait, which is now stuck in my shorts. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks for the crankbait, Jared. Appreciate it, bud. Oops, Kirk's that's keys my just made a noise. That's my key. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hand yeah. Oh, this is these are nice. Painted. Look at this. Yeah, you do. Where are you showing these. me this? Yeah, I've got these. Tackle craft. I've actually got some of your stuff. These are actually really sweet. I really do have some. Of I didn't know they would be this badass. Ouch. Look at that. This is absurd. That's I really... a sick spit walk bait. I'm oh. having this. I'm no, taking this bait. No, it's mine. This is my bait. Perrick's already taking my lures. This is a little. Ow. Oh, sorry. No, not that one. That's not you the one. You who sent call. this. I actually have a bunch of your baits in my my boat that I bought from Perk. somebody else. Perrick is breaking stuff. Anyway. That's cool. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you guys for the, the starting pack. This is the first kind of unboxing I did. It, it's a little unofficial. Like, we're in the car right now. I'm sure the camera's just all over the place. But uh, hey, we're on a roll. We got a time crunch. I got to pick up Hector. Okay. Thanks, guys. If you guys want to send me some stuff. Feel free to do so. I'll leave the P.O. box in the description below. Now we gotta keep driving. Gotta go meet Hector. I'm sure he's pretty anxious to fish. Hey, so we've made it to the lake. We're fishing off two boats today. Hector's with us. He's in the front seat there. You probably can't see him, but this, this whole lake situation is kind of strange. There's no parking at the launch. It's kind of a dusty launch. We'll see how this goes. We always fish the dumbest places, I swear. <laughs> Dropping in. All right, hop aboard your own boat, Chris. Have you taken a catch yet? Yeah, I freaking smoked him. Colin? Yeah. See you, buds. Chris and Perrick had to go find a place to park the boats and the trailer, so. He just got back on the boat, and now we're actually, actually officially going to start fishing right At now. At 3:30. At 3:30. Whose fault is that? His fault. Anytime I ever fish stuff that looks like this, I got bites. I'm confident oh. fishing. Oh, you got one. No. Oh, dude. That was a good one. Chris and I have not. That was a good one. That was our first bite of the entire day. I don't. We don't know. We're doing a little friendly tournament right now. Hector, Lunkers, Perrick versus Chris and I. And that was literally our first bite. We've been frogging stuff that looks like this all, all afternoon and have not been able to get him. I don't think you got it. Well, that was a little that guy. Was a, that was a different one. Yeah, that was a little guy. Oh my God, that was a, that was a nice one. Get over there. That was a nice one. 
All right, let's push back there a bit. See what else is. I feel yeah, like we're no, making. There's, there's going to be fish in this. Shut up. Look at all the lines. We've covered some bases here, folks. I don't know what to say. We're trying. We are definitely trying. That's really weird. Oh my god. Is that on your frog? That was a blow up. A big oh yeah. One. yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh my. Did you see that? Bob's doing it smart, hiding out from There he is. That's a decent one. I know, that was crazy. Of course, it's not that big. It's a fish, though. Boom! First fish for me. Sloppy bass. Frog in the muck, we finally caught one. Dude, it was like barely hooked, too. It was like just hanging by a well, throat. Well, they're not getting it right. No. Not a giant. We've missed about seven blow ups. I just got off the phone with Peric. He's missed a lot of blow ups. So it kind of makes me feel good, kind of doesn't make me feel good. We're having a four fun friendly tournament today, three against two. This is the first blood for me. I'm, I'm guessing it's the first fish, too. Doesn't sound like Peric's caught any, but. Whew, that is a nice one. Okay. Okay. I feel good now. All we're doing right now is just frogging over some mat using a little tiny frog here and working it over the sparse stuff, the thick stuff, they seem to be in both, so that's a good sign. They're just not really like eating it good. You got him. Dude, set the hook! He set the have it. He's a, he does, dude. <laughs> he still has it. You still got him? That yeah. was the world's longest hook set, folks. <laughs> you recording or what? No. Get, it, get him in, dude. Get moment. him in. <laughs> dude, he's buried. I know, because you're playing with your GoPro. He's still there. Oh. Yep, there he is. Yeah, you thought he was gone, Bubba. Here he goes. <laughs> He'll help. Oh, yeah, for sure. Nice one, dude. Nice little jungle bass. Too. Oh, really? Yeah, he was going to come look at it, and then my dad didn't hear from him for two days. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. That's a good one. That's got to be a nice one, right? It looks... I don't know, maybe not. Oh, it's not that good, but still. Oh, it's, it's at least a two and a half. God, I thought it was like a four pounder when he ate. Hey, That's actually a pretty good one. You got him? Woo! He's up there. He's up there. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I thought it was literally like a five pounder the way he hit it. Look at this thing's head. Look at that head. That looks like a five pounder and it's like, oh, you're you're only that big? Nice one though. I'll take that all day. In the slop. I'll take that. Like just, these fish are just barely hooked, folks. Like skin hooked. Crazy stuff. No better way to catch them than in the slop. So Chris and I are done fishing the mat. We're now gonna go head on over to like maybe some some docks or lay downs, just kind of change up the pattern. We've got three little guys in the box. We're gonna head on over to those docks right now. Hey, hey. We're we're now looking my hair looks like trash. We are now looking for docks. Uh, pitch a jig on a dock, I don't know. Sounds sounds good to me, let's do it. It doesn't even have a horse. No horses. No horses, eh? Hey. Oh, Going? Oh yeah, there we go. Chris has got our fourth swim in, the swim in the jig bag. Nice, I'm gonna get back in there. Hey, pop. Chris, that dog wants to see your fish. Hey, pop. One of those, like, double Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. It's a good one, I think. Is it? That's number five. I'm gonna flip him. Oh, that's pretty decent. That's our kicker. Oh! Dude, don't lift, don't flip oh! Come here. I got her, look at that. That's All a right. solid fish right there. You get the motor, I'm gonna put her in the well. Yeah, I guess, little black and blue jig. That one came off that, yeah, that little shore station pile right there. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, I got one. Good one, good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. How big? I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, it's a good one. That's our better one, dude. Get him, Chris. Get him, Chris. There we go. We needed that so bad. He hit, he like grabbed it, ran out with it. We found a nice little dock bite there. That's a quality fish. That last fish just came on a dock, just kind of like that. Pitched it under there, let it sit for a bit. Picked it up, 
bounced it a few times off the bottom, and it was just dead weight. That was our call? That's good. That's a good call. See you later, guy. Whew. Feels good. Jigs on docks, frogs and scum. Don't get much better than that. We're over here. Hey, keep keep going straight. You'll hit. You'll see us. You should see us. One, one. Number four. That's the biggest. No, that's not our biggest. Where's the big sassy? Where's the bigger sassy? There's the big sassy. No, she's not five pounds. Yeah, I never said there was a five pound. First of all. No, yes. I, I said it might. Changed up the angle. I messed up the first time, folks. No. Oh, nice. Oh, that, I never said it was five. Why do you? I'm the one that said that's it was close to five. Out there. Sorry, not an holy open seven, eight, four. Holy, oh my god. Oh, really? We called out like a tiny. We missed about 80 bites, there. like 80 frog bites. Same. Yeah, we missed a lot. They weren't eating bites. it right. Well, that's three pounds. That scale is way off. I think. I don't know. She's pretty Are you fat. kidding me? Dude, There's no, no way. I'm saying that other one was bigger. Stop it. Stop it, please. I, I'm, I'm a hat, hat of oh. All right, well, just add two. One, four, one, five, nine. Yeah. Oh, one, so we got a good bag. We may have them. Not sure. We may or may not be in this. So you have 13.24. I mean, that's not, that's not bad for... 13.24 is not a bad weight for... Never fished on this lake before, and this is an afternoon bite. Like, you guys know there's one over there? There's a pro. There's on the an boat. open pro over that boat. I think Same we might have just beaten them. Look at that I'm gonna take the camera over there, and we're gonna see their bag right now. I'm just laughing over here because I don't know what any. Oh yes, one five four. <laughs> Get it. He, was... he backboats everybody. <laughs> God, he backboats. He did. Everybody. I still caught the most though. He one, put four five. Oh baby. Oh baby. Here comes the six. Yeah, not a oh, oh my god. god. Dude. He just the class. Dude. Oh, Dude. oh baby. Oh baby. You better. Two two nine. Okay, so this fish has to be. Here we go. He goes out. This Alabama. fish has to be like seven pounds. So <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, I guess we get the roulette for dinner again. <gasps> oh, that's actually a decent one. Oh, baby, it is a four. What? That is four. Dude, look at the yeah. gut on that thing. You beat us by two pounds. We had eleven two four. You had a thirteen. There it is. Three. You beat a pro. You realize that, John? You literally beat a pro. Well, uh, wait, let me just say something. Let me just say something. We broke the trolley motor. That was the problem. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It was coming. It was coming. I, I knew it. Like, seriously. You guys, you guys don't understand how much he backboats. Like, I'm standing right behind him, and he's... he's Awesome day out on uh, New Lake here in, in Illinois, I think this is. Can't tell. Chris has a, Chris has a YouTube channel now. If you guys want to check out his stuff, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, if you haven't watched Hector's stuff too, I'm sure a lot of you guys have, but if you haven't, link in the description as well. Link. No, 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 Peric, move. I'm trying to point at Hector because I'm trying to plug him in. Oh, and then Lunkers too. Lunkers. Luck, follow Lunkers, Hector, and then Chris has got a new channel. Good stuff. We're heading off the water now. How about me? Nah, I'm good. Well, this shirt's a little too red for today. What do you think, folks? Uh, this mine's, mine's salmon. Here's a salmon color. Salmon.